Today we're at St Matthew's at Canubia for a Fast Five with Dr Doug. And it is my great pleasure to interview Bronwyn Buckley. Bronwyn's an experienced <laughs> principal and has just joined um, St Matthew's community. Bronwyn, what are you most looking forward to in your role as principal of St Matthew's? Um, what I'm most looking forward to is actually getting to know the community and seeing St Matthew's in its full flow. So it's a pretty amazing school already and I'm looking forward to seeing the teachers in action, getting to know the kids and finding out what makes them tick and what their love of learning looks like and obviously the parents and you know, getting part of and getting part of and knowing the St Matthew's story is really what I'm looking forward to. So. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. So what can parents and carers expect from you in your role as principal? Um, so what I hope that they see and, and yeah, ultimately expect from me that I want them to see their kids safe and I want to see their kids happy coming to school and feel like they've got a real sense of belonging here at St Matthews. Um, and if they've got all those things and the parents also feel that, then the kids are going to be learning and that's what I want to see. So safe, happy and belonging kids and learn learning. Well, great and sense. sorry, and a sense of fun. Got to have some fun with all of this. Oh, that's terrific. Yep. Again, look, I know the job of a principal today is, is really complex, full of challenges. What are some of the challenges you think a principal faces in a school like St Matthews? Yeah, so well, I suppose especially at the moment, um, it's the split attentions. There's so many of them uh, that are operating in schools, let alone you know, the world of society at the moment and uh, what that means for schooling, and especially when you're getting to know a school as well. And, and really I want to focus on that, but there's so much to know or to do and engage in. Uh, it can be yeah, quite tricky, you know, we've got the needs of individuals, how do we care for that? Because that's our job as you know, principals and teachers, you know, that we look after those vulnerable kids but the needs of also society and how, how we meet that as a balance so yeah it's just the split attentions at the moment that uh, I'm finding is uh, yeah, one of the challenges of being a principal in, in this day and age. Now you're an experienced educator and have worked yep. in schools for a considerable amount of time I'm interested to get just a quick sense of what you see as some of the opportunities of the future in education. Yeah. Okay, so there's probably a few thoughts that I've had over this over time and I think the one that comes back to me a little bit is I often wonder with schools if like a lot of outside stuff always telling schools what to do and, and so society actually never changes but like where are the power of schools to actually set what society is going to be like so actually can we be the setters of what the world is going to be like in schools because schools are really amazing places and the values and you know for us as a Catholic school with the faith how do we actually do this and that is actually what's going to change the world it's not the other way in so I suppose that's one of them and obviously at the moment the inclusivity of the most vulnerable in our societies you know what does that mean for us as educators and moving and moving forward so yeah it's really thoughts. aspirational mm. what does Bronwyn do when she's not <laughs> a principal running a school what are your interests and hobbies Bronwyn? right I'm actually a self-confessed nerd <laughs> so I, I do have a significant Lego collection so I, there's nothing better I like to do than put a big blockbuster movie in my movie room and uh, yeah and break open the Lego sets uh, yeah so there's that and I justify it because I like to think I can be good at photography so then I can use that for macro photography and uh, yeah and head out on the old bushwalk I, I, these are the things that give me energy and uh, yeah get turn me off turn off from the busyness of school and mental energy into creating you know different things that's what me energy outside schools. Well Bronwyn thank you and thank you for participating in the Fast Five with Dr Doug.